Good morning, boys and girls. Uh, welcome to our second episode when we look at the churches of Newbridge. Uh, as you can see from behind me, we're, we're near the school of Skolvira this morning. And of course, beside us, we've got the church of Kilvira. The word kill means church, and you've got it connected with a lot of places in Ireland. Nearby, we've got, of course, Kildare or Kilkenny. In this case, Kilvira means the Church of Our Lady. And this church, as you can see, near the entrance, we've got the stone which tells us that it was built in 1982. So it's the newest of our churches in Newbridge. And beside the plaque, you've a statue reminding us that it is indeed the Church of Our Lady. This beautiful statue by a Father Flanagan of Our Lady. Thank you, Father Paul. So uh, we are inside Kilbura Church now, and I hope you remember from our first episode the interior of St. Conrad's. It's kind of a more traditional um, uh, style. Here in Kilbura, as you can see, it's a bit modern, and um, it is modern in the way of uh, the people gathering the church they are closer to the altar. And the thing that we can see different here uh, are the stained glass, which are presented in a more colorful way here. What I love about um, our churches is that as you go in the church, you see um, the same kind of arrangement in the church. So I hope you remember from the, from the last video. How do you call the centerpiece in, the, in all the churches? It is the altar. Near the altar, as uh, we've presented the last time, we have the ambo, and then we have the baptismal font. And near the baptismal font, a very important thing is that we have the paschal candle. So we have kind of the same arrangement, uh, arrangement uh, in, um, in both churches. So we see here in uh, Kilvira the most important things are those things that are there for the Mass, the altar, the ambo, uh, etc. But also we remember a church is a place of prayer. So we come over here and do we recognize what this is? Do you remember the name? It's a little bit difficult. It's called the tabernacle. And the tabernacle is where we keep the Holy Communion after Mass. So Jesus is present here in the church always. And it's a good thing always to come in and pray before the tabernacle. Pray because Jesus is present. And we're reminded that Jesus is present by something else. Do you remember? The sanctuary lamp. And here, always, day and night, there is a candle burning to remind us that Jesus is always present in our church. And here we have the baptismal font of Kilvura Church, a great block of granite stone scooped out. And it's here the child is brought and the water is poured on its head. And the priest says, I baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. And this is how we become a Christian, a member of the Christian church. In the background, there is a lovely plaque and it shows John the Baptist baptizing Jesus in the River Jordan, a great reminder of this great gift of baptism where we come close to God like Jesus himself. We have a mission to, to make in, as Christians. We are followers of Jesus. In every church, we have wonderful works of art. And here, Kilvira is no exception. We have these beautiful windows. Here, for example, is a saint depicted in stained glass. Who is the saint? Do you recognize? He's holding keys, so we know it's Saint Peter, the first Pope, disciple of Jesus. And the keys are the symbol of his authority. 
he is the leader of the church, as Pope Francis is our leader today. So coming into our churches, we have different ways of, uh, of praying. Um, one of the ways of uh, praying in our churches is doing the Stations of the Cross. If you remember, in St. Conlet we have paintings. Here in Kilvura we have carvings. Stations of the Cross, there are 14 stations uh, and we are joining Jesus um, in his suffering uh, from his trial before uh, Pontius Pilate and to his death um, on, uh, on the cross. We may have forgotten to film an outro, so let's pretend. Thank you to Father Paul and to Father Eugene for showing us the beautiful church that is Kilwara. We look forward to showing you our final church here in the parish next week in episode three. <laughs>